it's Sam and I thought I would do a grocery haul. I know I did one for when I was in Florida recently, but well, I guess it wasn't recent. It was a while back. Uh, but my last grocery haul was one from Florida, but I thought I would show you a grocery haul for uh, my, my new apartment. Now I've done one big grocery haul before, but this is another one and it's been interesting trying to figure out meal planning and what to splurge on and what not to splurge on and to be honest with you we really don't hold ourselves back at the grocery store we are we love food and we like to cook or i like to cook and i don't like to not be without a lot of ingredients in the fridge and that's something i'm also learning to uh take into consideration that i don't need to have a packed fridge um especially since it's only the two of us so i'm just gonna pull out things um and i'll show you i'll, I'll tell you what i plan to do with them so lettuce i have a, a, this huge romaine and uh salads is something that i have not had trouble with but i love salads but buying like spinach in a bag and arugula in a bag uh, unless you eat it a week after opening it kind of just gets old so um, I thought romaine is pretty hearty lettuce and I can use that for sandwiches and salads uh, I I'm kind of embarrassed I've never really ordered cold cuts from the counter so I was kind of I, was, I just didn't know what to do um, so I just got the package ones. I mean I love prosciutto like this so I got that I also got some genua salami and this turkey Hillshire Farm Ultra Thin Honey Ham. I thought that was, those would make good sandwiches. Uh, some parsley, I'm gonna make beef stroganoff tonight, so I thought I would throw this in for some freshness and some other things that I'll be making. Uh, I needed some butter. This is the Cabot Natural Creamery Butter, and at four sticks, I'll freeze three of them and use one, leave one out. And for the beef stroganoff, I have sour cream. And then, so that's one bag. Then, I carried all this, by the way. I was gonna use every, I was gonna put everything into this big black bag here, but I ended up getting so much. And I think that's what usually happens. You don't go in for one, like a few things, and then you just end up buying a bunch of stuff. And then for sandwich, when we do make sandwiches, for, I make sandwich, I make us lunch for the next day, but I couldn't yesterday and today just because I didn't have cold cuts. Uh, and so I got this to, put with our sandwiches. I just love chips and sandwiches. I feel like they go together so well. I got some Kifu giant white bread. I know white bread isn't the healthiest, um, but I don't know. I just, I really like it with uh, on sandwiches. So with sandwiches, no, that doesn't make sense. I like to use it for sandwiches. And also for the beef stroganoff, I got this Pennsylvania Dutch medium egg noodles. And some of these things at Key Food, um, I've never heard of the brand before. It doesn't mean that they haven't existed, but I kind of I feel like I like the brands more at like Stop and Shop or Shoprite. Okay, and then the last bag, which is really heavy. So I thought also instead of just using white bread all the time, I saw this Mission Wraps and it's multi grain, and I could even do like egg burrito, breakfast burritos. Um, just put the cold cuts in there as well just a bunch of things you can do with that and i really like this it's so quick to use this is the success boil in a bag brown rice and it takes about 10 minutes you just put the submerge the bag in water and you just let it cook for about 10 minutes and it's done and it's really good and filling so i got another one of these because we used up two really quickly there comes six when my mom actually gave me the original box because uh, they don't really eat brown rice. This is some yellow onion. I love red onion, but I feel like for savory, like red onion I love in salads and sandwiches and um, things like that. But for savory foods, like I'm going to make uh, beef stroganoff today, I want to use a white onion. I feel like the flavor is sweeter. And then for the beef stroganoff as well, let's see, I had that and I needed a uh, cream of mushroom soup so I got that and I got another one because I will use these up and I like making this recipe so I know I'll need that and then on sale they had chicken broth this I usually get Swanson but they had college in for sale so I got five of these four bucks 
And then I needed some olive oil, so I got the Kifu brand. This is extra virgin olive oil. And then I got, of course, garlic. I was going to get the pre, um, they took off the skin for you and everything, but it was, for the extra money that it cost, I was like, I could just press it down with a knife and I'm all set. Uh, then the last thing is this 4C seasoned breadcrumbs and I was really missing these when I was trying to cook some eggplant last week. That's probably a staple pantry item for me that I didn't have. So yeah, I got this and that's about it. So <laughs> I know this doesn't consist of like I only have beef stroganoff but like sandwiches we have for the week and I'll use the white onions, maybe the brown rice with some chicken. So I will still have to probably make another shopping trip, but it will be for just the major things that I will need for dinner. I have pretty much the basics already, and I, there's some pantry items I can use, like pasta and beans and things like that. Um, but I will need to get some meats probably. Okay, so that is my haul. Let me know if you guys enjoy this type of video, if you want to see what kind of dinners I make because I know it's hard. That's probably one of the hardest things about moving out is thinking of things to cook and cook, cook, ugh. Things to cook and things that don't take a long time to cook. Um, I don't mind taking a little bit longer to cook just because I kind of like putting a dinner together and yeah. So let me know what other videos you'd like to see from me in terms of food and cooking and things like that. I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!